Okay, so on this side, we're gonna do a daytime natural smoky, and on this side, we're gonna do an evening smoky dramatic eye. Let's go. I'm going to use Painterly Paint Pot as a base. So I take the Painterly and I apply it over the entire eye, under the eyebrow, onto the lid. I'm gonna do the other sides painterly um, as a base now, now so that it can kind of just sit. You were a man again. <laughs> and now I'm going to apply wood winked eyeshadow. It's a frost and it's very easy to blend and wear with other colors. For her crease, I'm going to use Swiss chocolate with the 217 MAC brush and I'm going to do that signature windshield wiper movement from outer corner inwards. I'm going to take Swiss chocolate with a 219 brush and apply right in the outer corner. Think of a letter C. So from the crease to the lash line, think of the letter C. And then think that you're gonna fill that C in. Letter C. And then fill the C in. I'm gonna take a little bit of Crystal Avalanche with a 239 brush and apply it right under her eyebrow. This will be the highlight. And then I'm going to apply the Crystal Avalanche just to give a highlight to the center of the eye. Makes it look a little bit more glossy. I'm going to take Carbon and press it right along her lash line. I don't want any definite um, lines since this is smoky. I want everything to be soft and blurred but you still want to see the difference in color from black to brown to gold. And I'm going to take more of the Swiss chocolate and kind of apply it right over the carbon to soften it. I'm going to use Embark eyeshadow and apply it right underneath her bottom lashes. Under, not on top, right underneath. Smudge it back and forth. I'm connecting the Embark from the bottom as one continuous line to the top. And it's easier to apply the color and see the payoff when you tap it rather than sweeping. Sweeping will shear it out, but tapping builds the coverage. I'm gonna take Crystal Avalanche with the same 219 brush, look upwards, and I'm gonna put it right in the inner corner. And now I'm going to apply the eyeliner right on the inside of the lash line. And then you can take the eyeliner and just smudge it out. And I'm going to do very thin underneath the bottom lashes. And then blend it in with your flat brush. Now I'm going to apply Zoom Lash Mascara by MAC. I like to do saw movements because I feel like it pulls every lash. You want to get to the very base like a shaking back and forth movement on every lash. Same with her bottom lashes. I like to do a saw movement and then brush down. I'm 
And here is her daytime natural smoky eye. In this eye, we're gonna do a little bit more dramatic, so you don't have to be as neat as the first side, so don't be afraid if it gets a little messy. Look up. I'm gonna do the inside on the bottom. This is just a roll-up Maybelline eyeliner. You can use any one. Uh, MAC Graph Black is a great one. Just something very charcoal black. I'm also going to go underneath her bottom lashes. Remember, the key is a smoky effect. So nothing is going to be perfectly even or straight. Like me. I'm going to go a little bit higher with the eyeliner pencil. I'm going to take the 219 and I'm going to smudge it in. There's all different ways to do a smoky eye. This technique just happens to be one of my favorites because I feel like you have a lot of control where the color is going and how dark and light you want the colors to be. Look up. And we've achieved this look with only two products so far. Just the rolled up eyeliner and the 219 brush. But we did the painterly as the base, the eyeshadow base first. And that's what made, helped make it so easy to blend and smudge. So this is going to pretty much come up to the crease of the eye. You don't have to go that high. I just want to get a really, really dark base to begin with before I put the black eyeshadow so that it's an extremely dramatic look when I'm done. I'm going to take a 239 brush in carbon and flick it. I'm going to pat. Think of pressing it and almost pressing upwards. So tap, push up. What this is doing is applying the color without making a mess. If I were to apply this way, the brush will hit her eyelashes and might sprinkle some powder down. So as long as you hold it this way, you're gonna have more control where the color is going. And this is just taking some carbon eyeshadow and layering it over where I applied the eyeliner. And now I'm going to take Swiss chocolate. You never want just two colors. You always want to do a minimum of three. The highlight, the crease, and the lid. Now since we have a black smoky eye, we, we're not going to keep black in the crease. We want to break up the eye a little bit kind of um, soften it just a little bit so it's not too black everywhere. We're gonna put a warm color like Swiss chocolate in the crease, like a windshield wiper. And that's gonna break up some of the harshness and it's gonna smooth the black. And it's gonna also look more of a fade effect from dark, medium to light. Okay. I also like to put that same brown to the black. a full circle. Okay, and now I'm applying with the flat brush. Right along the lash line, making it more intense. And I'm gonna use nylon, once again, as the inner starlight. Look up. Look at that. It's connecting like a little V. So, close, outer corner, C, fill in that C, inner corner, C. 
piece of meat. How cool is that? Whoa. And now I'm gonna use Reflex Gold Glitter because nothing spices it up better than some glitter. Put it down on the side. And I'm just gonna tap it with my finger. Keeping more of it in the inner corner because you want the black to be more dramatic. I'm just going in and blending. Okay. And this is Embark. I like the chocolatey brown outer edge to it because I feel like it just gives it some more depth, more dimension, and it really brings the green out in her eyes. And now I'm using Boot Black Liquid Eyeliner, but I'm applying it with a 266 brush. When you put the glue on, you always want to let it sit for about 10 seconds, maybe 15 to 20, because if you apply it immediately with the glue so wet, it's going to slide. And with the eyelashes, you want an exact placement. Make sure that the inner corner and the outer corner are definitely touching the skin that are definitely glued down, because that's normally, those are the first parts to pop off first. Okay, and now we have completed two looks, two versions of a smoky eye, our daytime natural and our nighttime smoky dramatic. So now I've given you the tools to do a daytime and nighttime smoky eye. Let me know which one is your favorite in the comment section below.